previously in Fates. today. Normally I don't get involved in stuff like this so for me to actually have to sit in and talk to a staff member it means that things have got to a particular stage where something needs to be done. Now I am getting reports that you're not exactly pulling your weight and that your heart isn't in this job. It is causing friction amongst the other girls I might as well be honest with you and the minute there is friction you know, or somebody not pulling their weight, or even the perception of a problem in the office, this becomes a serious issue. I'm getting a kind of, you know, slightly kind of spoiled kid vibe off you in relation to this. So everybody in here rolls up their sleeves and gives 110% every day for the magazine, A, because they have to, and B, because I demand it. And I'm worried that you're just not willing to, you know, get your hands dirty, because... I don't know, it might upset the manicure that you got this morning. I'm sorry, <coughs> Louise, but I mean... Michael. I, no, I, I can understand. Please don't be upset, Louise. And I think maybe Michael is kind of... I think it's a bit unfair because you actually don't know anything about my background, Michael, you know. Okay, but I'm telling you what I'm seeing. If people in the office feel that you're not pulling your weight, that causes problems for me yeah. and for the rest of the crew, and I can't have that. I have a feeling that this just isn't your bag, and that's okay. I just don't want to leave it on bad terms. You know, no, no, don't get me wrong. Obviously, Melina's caused the friction, and I realised I was competing for a job that, that I your heart have the wasn't in. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. And that's all it was. It was nothing. It wasn't a personal thing. It just your heart wasn't in it. So you absolutely go off and follow your heart. And if it leads you back here for a reason, you know, all well and good. Okay. Thanks. Okay. If I could hear myself, what would I say? It's a funny thing when like you've worked in a bar and you're a member of staff, but when you come in and want to run something yourself, like it's hard to work with people when they treat you as a member of staff. Right, okay. okay. So it would be difficult for me to go into that bar and kind of go, this is my show tonight and not be treated like a member of staff. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I will have that sick feeling up until about yeah. 12 o'clock that night yeah. when there's people there and they're having fun and then yeah. I can have fun. Yeah. But until then, I will just be panic stations. Well, the first night is going to be like the killer night. The first night's either going to make it or break it. Anyway, so I think you need to fill me in on what's been going on on the I knew this was Keith coming. Gate. I knew this was coming. Um, <clears throat> so he followed me up to the smoking area and he was like, uh, what the fuck is the situation between like you and CC and blah blah blah? He was oh my god, he was so rude. And I, I think that's a disgrace for a twenty-five-year-old man to come and verbally abuse a young woman. Oh well, in a public I place. can defend myself. I know you can, but <coughs> I'm just saying morally, I think that's a disgrace. It's twisted, like absolutely twisted. You know, I never dated you, like. But when somebody is so convincing, like either way, I don't have time for that kind of, like, that's game playing to me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I told him that I wouldn't piss on him if he was on fire. <laughs> I love this. Did you say you wanted to leave or he No, he was, he was kind of going on a rant. I think he was going to basically say that it would come down to either I leave or he was going to fire me anyway. Yeah. So I was just like, actually, before you go any further, I was like, I'm, 
I'm just going to leave because I just decided it's really not for me. Like, Saying that you were snobby around here? I've been working since I was 16. Snobby. I pay my own way. I don't like. Because you do sign posh and stuff. So he's probably. I think, I think that that's, that's, but that's not fair either because like I've worked so hard. Like all my life, I've always had two or three jobs. Working since I was 16, was working in school. And like, mm. to be honest, it was ever since you left, I stopped enjoying the job so Aww. much. It's yeah, true, Marina though. was a bit of a nightmare to you, wasn't she? Like, if I come across her again, work-wise or socially, I'll never want to talk to her. Yeah. Like, she's just so rude. I mean, you can't even crack a joke around her without I can't wait to meet her. Like, I just can't wait to see what she looks like and everything. What a bitch. I've never met someone like her before in my life. And yeah. I don't, that's, that's, I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing. You should bring Clodagh. She thought you were deadly down in Galway. But she works next door as well to an events management, so like no even way. if she had nothing, maybe somebody else would. That sounds like a really good idea. Definitely, Ringer, because she thought you were brilliant down there sorting everything out for her. Like. I'll be honest, I'm just relieved that I've left Setter because it was just one of those things. I just wasn't good at it. <laughs> well, you were better than me. I was always getting in trouble, though, every five minutes. You should work in a restaurant, I'm telling you. The, the tips and everything, it's like free money. When we first started working for us, so we used to carry like, like trays for like maybe 30 drinks on them. Spilled a whole tray of cocktails all over Glenda. Oh my god. And I was only like 18 at the time and I was like petrified. Did you have to pay for the drinks? No. It's just a waste, just a waste of drinks. Is it hard to tell, like, to know the blood and the swelling and the redness? Not to freak you out or anything there. Um, kind of like what, where you're going and what you're doing and what Candy. exactly way it's going to turn out and stuff. Yeah, that's down to experience. Right. That's why the apprenticeships are so long. Mm. Because you really need to be... Know what you're doing. Yeah. I've been watching someone for a long time. Here, have a go. Tattoo on. Hang on. I have to learn sometime. Should be. Can't learn from watching all the time. Are you okay with this? You sure? He knows. I'm well briefed. Okay, so get a piece of tissue. You ready for this? No. This is what you wanted to do. <laughs> okay. Put the tissue in around your last two fingers. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want you to do is we find a dark spot. Mm -hmm. Follow it in around. Don't linger too long with the machine, all right? Yeah. Bring it around. What can I do? What can use, I do with this? Use this pigment here. Over. Okay. Do, do I what? Use the foot pedal. Yeah. You've been watching me doing it for how long? Yeah, I know, but still, I'm nervous. Dip it in. Yeah. Like that there. Yeah. Don't worry, James. I'm standing here just in case I have to hit the brakes. Nice. That's perfect. Look how smooth that is. Nice. Yeah, yeah that's cool. <sighs> this is really weird. That's it. Stretch. You're not going too deep as well. You're kind of a natural. Really? Yeah. Don't give me a big head name. Too many. Yeah, it's true. Don't think she was too happy with me after going away. Why? Um, because of our antics going out in the town, I think. Because you're with the bird? <laughs> it sounded like a circus in the bathroom with the two of you, by the way. <laughs> Cheers for that. <laughs> Much appreciated. Oh, yeah. So what? She, Louise was upset? She was pissed off at that? I think she got worried about it or something, yeah. But sure, how can she get worked up about that, man? She <laughs> led you a merry little dance, man. She fluted you down to Galway. You brought all the drink. You did her a favour. Exactly. And then she, she gave you the elbow. Like, she blackballed you. Like. Exactly. So you know what? And you know what? Or, what like, what are we supposed to do? Not go out? Do you know what? Her thing is to, like, come in as put herself on a pedestal and be like, look, I'm amazing, so like, you need to entertain me. Kind of it's all stupid. I shouldn't have even bothered going down, but it was fun in the but end. You know, we had fun, man. Yeah, I mean, we made, the, we made the most point. of it. And uh, what's your deal at the moment? Vogue, Vogue blew me out of the water, but you know what? <laughs> I respect her too. She, she, I mean, she blew me off and she's like, I've got a boyfriend. Do you know what I mean? No messing, like. Exactly, so it's done. She's got a boyfriend, you know what I mean? So that's yeah, yeah, yeah. the end of that, but I'm working There's a new chick at work, man. Is there? She's like a new intern, so. A new intern? Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right, we need to mix this up. I'm gonna do biceps, man. Fucking <sighs> wrecked. I don't even know if this is an exercise. <laughs> but it, it looks is. good. It is. If Melina's up for it, I'll take it for dinner tonight or something. You'll take it for dinner tonight? Have you asked well, her yet? I haven't asked her, but <laughs> <laughs> I've already booked it. I booked her a taxi home from my house <laughs> tomorrow morning. <laughs> Have you 
you been since Galway? Grand, yeah. Just um, actually, was there was like a few incidents at Stadler, and I just realised that I it's really not for me at all. Yeah, you were a bit undecided about that last time I met you, mm. which could be our game. So you had mentioned your interest in getting work experience, and we would be in a position to offer you um, six weeks' work in the run up to it. But right. unfortunately, it's not a paid for position. It would be based on doing kind of a short internship. Okay. How do you feel about that? Yeah, oh, it sounds it sounds amazing because it's a really good opportunity. I think I just need to weigh things up and okay, have a think about it. But is like, there as in, go on. yeah, as in like with the IMTV awards, what what would I be getting out of it myself? And I suppose there's a few different um, elements that you learn. There's a lot of going to be a lot of interaction with media, so you meet a lot of media from now until the event, which is a great opportunity to build up your contacts. It'll be full on. It's straight in, no kissing. We're all about like getting stuck into the job or not interested in people coming in to fanny about and have the crack and just live the glamorous lifestyle. It's going to be 80% desk job, hard work, getting all the event lists together and then obviously there's a grand event which is, you know, what we all love, the, the fine event at the end. But if this works out, you know, this is just, I suppose, six weeks. If we all work well together yeah. and it works out strong, there is opportunities in the future but I suppose this is just to see how we all work together and yeah. then if new accounts come in at the end of that and we need more people, well then, you know, who knows where it might go. I got sent like five scripts two nights ago and I haven't learned yours completely off. And I was just hoping that maybe we could, I could keep this out, just... Yeah, we can, it'd be much better if you were off book, but yeah, we can go off the script. Yeah, so sorry, I'm not off book yet. Okay, what else are you, you up to? Uh, it's just a few auditions and then stuff that I had to have prepared for an acting class, so that was two scripts, and then another two auditions that I had to prepare for that were yesterday, so... You prepared for an acting class instead of an audition? Yeah. Okay. It was two days ago, sorry. Okay, but you're familiar with the scene here? Yeah. I know their sort of relationship and stuff like that. Cool. Through Come email on. and everything. Yeah, we'll take it from, I guess, the middle of 33. Okay. Liza. Do you have anything to say before I stab you at something? Knock. Knock before you enter. Good morning. Scowling causes wrinkles. You threw me under the bus today. I've been awake for like three minutes. Can we get into this slowly? Then I had to improvise. What did I wear yesterday? I hate improvising. What do you think of that one? That's nice. That's really you. Isn't it? It actually goes with what you're wearing today. It so does. What do you think of that? Is that like a necessity? That's like a not bunch. a necessity, and I think you know full well that's not a necessity. It's really cute. It's only two euro. That means that we're going to have no milk for a cup of cha in the mornings. With all those two euros being spent. I might pick it up, though. <laughs> oh, will you, then? So I can borrow it. <sighs> Remember I went to meet Trev and the Workmans? About the club night. That TJ? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, he's like, he's like he runs the Workmans or whatever, but he rang me and he was like, oh, no, can't do. A bit like club night there. So, like, I'm pretty shagged, to be honest. So you can't do it down there. Where are you going to do it? I think I'm just going to put it on the four down lane. Like, I mean, they've offered it to me on a plate. You know, I might as well just take the opportunity. See how it goes. Like, if it doesn't work out, then it, at least you know. I think I'm just going to do it and see how it goes. I mean, all that matters is that, like, people are fun and the music's good, so... Yeah. I wouldn't sweat over it anyway. You'll make a good night. Will you I come when I try on that cardigan? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I never did that, ever. Really? Yeah, we didn't have the option. You didn't? No. What kind of school did you go to? Did I can cook though. Yeah? Yeah. You can swing the pan. Mm-hmm. What do you cook? A really nice Italian dish, but I don't tell anyone about it. Is it from the Bologna fun. region? The what? Is it spaghetti bolognese? No, 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 <laughs> it's not. No? Look what you just did, you blew out the candle. Oh, <laughs> I played with London, um, and we're doing trials at the moment with Waterford. 
Okay. Um, so we're training and stuff. We're doing a lot at the moment. You should come down to a match. Yeah, that'd be fun. You get the pom poms really going. Yeah, yeah, I'll be the cheerleader yeah. on the side. Woo! Would you do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do yeah. you like sports? Are you into that? Um, I used to play hockey for, I don't know, like a good few years. Really? And then I played tennis for a while. And I'll play you in tennis. A little I love bit tennis. of swimming. I love swimming. Um, I haven't been swimming in ages, but not since the summer. Because I'm just so job busy. And it's so how are you doing it. work? It's fun. Yeah? Yeah, I really like it. I like really him too. Good. I like Dylan. He's quite funny. Yeah, no, he's lovely. Yeah. yeah. What about Louise? What do you think, Louise? Louise, um, we don't really talk that much. You don't? No. I don't know. There's something about her that's kind of weird. She can be icy, like. She can be quite icy. I'm just jealous because, A, you're a good-looking girl that's come into the office. B, you know what you're talking about in terms of fashion. You know, so I think immediately she's going to be a bit like... Kind of intimidated or... Well, intimidated, yeah, because what's her thing, you know what I mean? She's, yeah, she's very good looking, but you're now, you're very good looking, but you also know fashion really well. So for her, that must be a bit like... I've done fashion for like three years now, Yeah. you know, and I love it. Yeah. And I thought you would have made a bit know. more of an effort tonight, actually. Oh, ha, ha, <laughs> joking. very I'm funny, joking. look I'm at you. Joking. you look great. Thanks. Susan asked me to leave the office, and she wanted to talk to Louise. Right. She was in there for like, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes or something, and she came out crying, like no hysterical. Way. Really? And I was in shock, and everyone in the office were like, what, what was going on? I don't wow. even know. I don't know. I but haven't you know seen what? her since. Like, to be fair, Susan's been pretty patient. I don't know if she's you fired or if she just got in trouble. I really don't know. Well, what she's happened. gone? I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. Wow. I wasn't told anything. Wow. What happened? Like, you decided to leave or you were fired? I had been talking to Susan. Remember when she was deciding between who, two yeah. article was going to go yeah. in? And obviously, Melina's was chosen. And then Susan just said, Oh, it's clear your heart isn't in it. And she had reports back in the office from people saying that my heart wasn't in it as well. It just hasn't been the same since Vogue left anyway. Mm. You know, competing yeah. against someone like Melina, who literally would stab you in the back. So, well, I don't know if she's that bad. She's just competitive. She? I think she just really wants a job and she probably deserves it anyway, so, you know. So, what's the plan? One of the girls that Vogue knows, um, Clodagh, she actually owns a pure company called Blink Viewer. She basically asked me would I like to help her out at the IMTV Awards. Brilliant. So, that's kind of like more of the event management kind of thing that I'm mm. into anyway. Mm. I think that's a brilliant opportunity. The only thing is, it's not paid. No. Oh, God. I don't know how I'm going to be able to afford it. First of all, you should focus on the career. Yeah. Blink thing is good. Find a job in the evenings, possibly hostessing. I'll help you out with that. Maybe move back home. Yeah. I mean, it's not ideal, but you're going to cut so much expenditure out of your budget. Like, you're going to be free up so much cash if you just do that. I mean, how much are you spending on rent? Like, it's probably a lot. Yeah, we've I mean, we got the CC moved in now, so it kind of takes a little bit of weight off it. But now, if I was to move out, then I'm kind of leaving them in the lurch, you know. Well, they can find a new flatmate. It's not hard. It's definitely, it's definitely an option. But I think you definitely need to move home. Yeah. If you can, I mean, if you have, like, the best sex life ever and you love jumping on the bed at 3 o'clock in the morning and, you know, having raves, maybe not, but I don't think you're that type of girl, so... What's the difference? You're still going to be living in Dublin. What do you think of this very night? Not so bad, not so bad. Pretty good. It's all right. Um, what's the situation on the van? They're going to show up. I've got to ring them and see where they are. Like, I know it's late now, but they should be here. You've advertised a band here. Yeah. Don't be letting me down like this. Okay. Fair enough? Yeah. Okay, I'll come back to you in 10 minutes. Okay. What's wrong? The fucking band aren't here. What time were they said? They're supposed to be here by now. Like, they didn't even sound check. They were supposed to be here like two hours ago to sound check. Go ring them. I'm going to keep my phone on me if you need me to do anything. I'm going to go. I don't think it's going to happen overnight.
night or anything? Yeah, I don't expect it to just like land on my lap or anything, but it's just to, right. it gets a bit frustrating. Oh, Liz Taylor here, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I had so much work on that I didn't even learn my lines. I just looked like a stupid idiot. You know, you want the ground to swally. Joke. I was like, oh. Like, I actually felt sick. But like, even with modeling, like, I know there's castings and sometimes you don't get it, but at least you don't get it and you know why you didn't get it. Like, because you're too ugly. <laughs> <laughs> well, then ask well, for like feedback. With this, it's like more well, are you like, getting any but, feedback? I ha no, because I don't feel like I can ask. I'm just going into a casting. I'm like, you know, with the other guy, I must have pissed him rightly off going like him with not even knowing the script. Like, well, that would piss me off. Oh, yeah, like, no, come on now. I know, it was really stupid. Well, I, wish I, had, I wish I had just cancelled that whole thing because I must have looked like an well. idiot. You yeah. have to just do it though, Bob. You know? I know, I yeah. know. But I'm not looking like? for excuses or anything like that. But like, genuinely. You see some people acting and they just can't do it. I'm like, maybe I just can't do it. If you don't get it, like you have to get back on the bike and go for the next one, you know what I mean? Back on the bike, that's the one. <laughs> get on the bike. Don't you, are bike. Yeah, bike. you are a bike, no? <laughs>
the yeah, fact that, that you got is. a job that you know you're going to be happy in, but I just really don't know what me and Daddy are going to do. Like. I know, I know Vogue wants to move in somewhere closer to town, so maybe I suggest the room to her. I could like sublet it until maybe I can afford to move back in myself. Do you plan on coming back? Like I, I don't, I don't want to move out. Like that's the thing. I want to, I want to stay here in town. It's practical. Like Blink Pure is only on Exchequer Street. Like it's yeah, a it's two really second walk away. I just can't afford it. Look, I'm just, I'm really sorry to like throw it on you, but like. Well, I think that if you can understand. help us find somebody soon, you've paid up until the next month's due date. So yeah, like we have until then to find somebody. Sorry, guys. Don't apologize. You cannot tell me move my stuff out in the next few days. We need to find a new roommate first. Your stuff next. <laughs> Do the beat endlessly as the sun creeps on.